Capricorn. I want to say thank you for being here. Um, this is your business and work um, for the month of January, Capricorn. So, wow, Capri is... Ooh, ooh, ooh. I hope you guys can see this. Okay. Righty. So, Capricorns, um, in business, um, what is coming out for you know, Capricorns in business and work? I see some sadness at work on the work floor for some Capricorns. Whatever is transpiring for the Capricorns, I'm sorry, I'm such a perfectionist. But, okay, so Capricorn, what is coming up is that I see on the work floor, some of you Capricorns are heartbroken with the queen of cups whoever this queen of cups is i see you're very heartbroken with this queen of cups this is um a woman that uh, is an old woman it could be a supervisor and you're just not happy with this person okay um whatever this person has done you're just not happy with this person um before there was a good working relationship but whatever has transpired and happened you're realizing that it's not feeling good anymore but whatever is transpiring i see that you're going to be cutting through and figuring out what exactly has transpired because you and this person have always had a good relationship and whatever has transpired it could be a supervisor or it could be someone just you know your colleague on the work floor but whatever is transpiring, I see that you're you're very disappointed. You come back not feeling happy the first week at work. Where we're going to be looking to, but I see you're going to be sieving through to find out exactly what is happening. In the second week, some of you are dealing with it could be a cancer woman, a old cancer woman, whoever this old cancer woman is, and whatever is transpiring. I see that. Uh, some of you might um, connect with this person. This person is 45 years and older. So some of you might connect with this person. Um, this person might be as, a, you know, a soul family that is going to be connecting with you. You're going to be working together with this person in the second week. Now, it doesn't have to be. It can be a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion. But this person has an effect with your work or career, you Capricorns, okay? But it's like someone from a past life. Now, I see in the third week, you're trying to find strength to deal with an issue or a situation, okay? It is as if some information came out, some information, light has been shed on some information, and you're finding strength, especially on the work floor, it's as if you're trying to find strength um, to deal with some issues, and you're protecting yourself, against your supervisor or against a woman that is a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion on the work floor because you're trying to protect yourself from this woman. Whoever this woman is, you're not really comfortable being around this woman because she could be, um, she's coming up as a supervisor, but she could be also coming up as an employee in an on the department and it's as if this person is annoying you. So you're trying to protect yourself. As we look at the four week, and you're standing your guard because whatever transpires, some information came out in the third week, and you're trying to protect yourself, but you found out something in the third week, whether it's in business, whether it's in work, this is what has transpired. Um, because if you notice, there is so much major arcana that is helping you out in this um month especially at work and in business and this is what we forget that our angels and guides also work with us with work and in business and i see you're protecting yourself because some information comes out and you're protecting yourself now when we look at the energy of the sun this is positive because some of you were having an issue with an aries leo or sagittarius this person could be coming up as a sagittarius and some of you were having this is a lawyer a Sagittarius lawyer that some of you are dealing with and I see you're going to be successful over this person so whoever the Sagittarius lawyer is I see you are going to be successful over the Sagittarius and this lawyer okay because success 
is coming and an organization institute say you are going to be successful because this organization or institute so this company is it's going to be realizing because like some of you decided why did i even come back here in um january why couldn't i find another job but at the, at the fourth week you're going to be realizing okay now i realize why and some unexpected luck is going to be coming in for the people on the work floor and if you were dealing with issues with this this queen of wands which is an aries leo or sagittarius i see you're going to be successfully overcoming an issue with this lady here i see an organization this is definitely a company that some of you are working with i see that um you're so tired you're so tired if you're working for yourself i see you're so tired but i see you're building something that is going to be um getting much better so if it's your own company i see you tired and you are having um communications between you and a corporation okay so in the four weeks i see you having communication so some of you could be going applying for jobs and you're having um these communications with um the the, the personal officer or that sort of a thing so i see this um coming up for you then i see some sorrows um and you know the sorrows that you're going through you don't have to go through this because it's going to be okay all right it's going to be okay so you know it's as if yeah it's the first week you're coming back to work for some of you and you know you have this supervisor or this person that really gets under your your finger but don't worry about it don't worry about it because you're going to be okay i see some of you especially with your business um in the first week your business is going to be good i see offers is going to be coming in i see people are going to be offering um um like um clients coming in in the first week i see um clients but also people that you're going to be meeting that you can do business with in the future um i see um um new people that is going to be coming through your business door or communication on the phone and that sort of a thing you are going to be doing business with them in the future and they are going to be bringing a lot of business to you so um that is good so the two first week especially the, the first week is a little bit for the people on the work floor is like oh i don't know i cannot you know but don't just don't give it up you know just don't give it up just wait because it's gonna be okay all right if it's a new job and you're gonna be thinking oh my god why did i take this job you know this woman is getting on my nerves don't, just leave it people like to test you when you start a new job okay because you're going to be okay all right so we 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 have the energy of the princess of swords some of you um you could be a lawyer um you could be finding out something about uh, an aquarius gemini or libra you could be a lawyer that is having um situation going on and you found out something um unexpectedly about the case you were working on that is coming up so you lawyers i see you're going to be and you know protecting yourself um from your supervisor or someone who is you know it could be also a colleague that is always asking you do you know how to do this do you know how to do that that sort of a thing and you're kind of protecting yourself from this person because you need to focus on your own work and then um some of you are going to be realizing but this woman doesn't really know and it's a cancer you know so you're going to be broken about a cancer um that this person has been just underneath your finger for such a long time and then you know this is a new year but let it go um again if you're a lawyer i see you're trying to find strength to deal with a situation because you found out the truth um about an um uh and and a sagittarius another sagittarius lawyer or a um or a leo i see you found out the truth about this person and i see it's as if 
um, there was a case or this woman has asked you to be a part of a case and now you're finding out the truth and now you're thinking I need to get off this case because but but I see you're going to be coming out and really being successful over the lady because it's as if you're going to say as another lawyer why would you ask me to do something like this so for you lawyers out there I'm seeing this really coming up and especially for you young lawyers I see this coming up because you're you're what you're you realize that this lawyer is just the, the older woman is just kind of nutty because she asked you to do something that was illegal and it's really kind of nutty. So um, I see you're going to be successful over this person and definitely you're going to be coming out of this. OK, I really want you guys to have all the message that is coming up. OK, so it's definitely the week of the lawyers having the battle. Okay, so it's a month where um, the third week is about two lawyers battling out and the young lawyer is pissed off that the old lawyer asks her to do some deceptive things. But the, the young one is going to be winning because I see the people in power stepped in and realized that the old lawyer ask the young lawyer to do some deceptiveness okay if this is um, um and for the rest of you i see some of you dealing with an older woman that is an aries leo or sagittarius and i see that it's either people from um on top if it's your supervisor i see that you come to a point that you have reported this person because this person was the third week is like you had your last straw with either your manager or someone on top. You reported this person and I see people from the top coming down and you're going to be successful because this lady has been harassing you for quite some time on the work floor and now you decide no more. And this is what a lot of Capricorns are going to be having that you are deciding no more. No more. No, no, no. Okay. You're just going to cut it right as it begin. As we look forward, I see the energy of a corporation. Some of you, um, this corporation, I see um, there could be some law. Oh, you're going to be successful over this corporation. So this is good. So at the end of uh, um, some of you in the beginning of January was are broken in the first week of January. Okay. But you were not aware of what is going to be coming up at the end because at the end whatever that was happening you're going to be very successful capricorn in business you're going to be su successful okay and with a lawsuit you capricorns are going to be successful so uh, if you have been dealing with issues uh, situation lawsuit and that sort of a thing in the last week of january you guys are going to be finding out so it could affect you guys some of you could be in the first week some of you could be in the second week some of you could be in the third week but if you had a lawsuit some of you are going to be finding out that you have won this lawsuit okay the energy of the air effect is that some of you are going to be very successful um, with a corporation, with a huge organization and a corporation, success is going to be coming in and this is going to be good. Some of you could be signing new contracts in the first week and, what you know, this contract is going to bring you long-term um, looks, financial stability. That is definitely going to be happening. And I am seeing that um, some of you young ladies, are, especially if you are a lawyer, you're coming up here fighting another lawyer because you saw the deceptiveness. It's as if an, another lawyer in another state or another place asks you to do something and now you re realize that what they asked you to do was very deceptive and you are like, oh my God, you know, you have gotten me in some serious trouble and um, you're definitely going to be taking down this lawyer just for what this lawyer has done, you know? So it could be a situation where... You